What's up everyone? It's Ice Man Oz, aka J, and in today's video, I've got for you guys some more Battlefield 4 gameplay. So today I want to talk about the new DLC Final Stand. Now I've had a chance to play it and I want to give you my thoughts on it. Now what you need to know about this DLC is you're going to see things that you would not see in a modern military shooter. While we don't know the exact setting of the DLC, it is believed to be a prequel to the Battlefield 2142 game, uh, which if you don't know was a Battlefield game set in the future. So what you will see in this DLC is things like hover tanks. When I first tried out what I like to call the hover tank, it was definitely definitely different and it was a lot of fun. You basically have a similar movement speed to a standard tank but you have a full 360 moving radius at full speed. The best way to describe it is it's a lot like my swivel carpet cleaner. Essentially it's a whacked out tank if it was loaded up on NyQuil, Doritos and Gatorade. And then there's this flying thing, it's called the MKV. MKV stands for Multiple Kill Vehicle. All you really need to know is it's extremely powerful against infantry and armor and its fuel lasts for around 60 seconds. Definitely a lot of fun to use, cutely frustrating to be killed by. Next up is the stationary turret, the SC-42. Oh god. Okay, so to put this simply, it's brokenly overpowered. You can one-shot a heli and infantry from almost any distance. It has an explosive round so it spreads so you don't even have to be on target. And while I do understand and agree that because it's a stationary equipment, you have to make it strong. Because if people know you're on the turret, they can take you out easily. And I've been pushing for artillery to be more powerful for a long time. However, not this powerful. This is just broken. And I feel if they don't fix it before it releases to all platforms, it could ruin the DLC. It kills any map flow, it's frustrating to get killed by, and I don't feel rewarded when I use it. They're just cheap kills. What I think they should do is make it a three or four shot kill to infantry to make it fair, to give us a chance. Like, it is impossible to get anything done on these objectives because there's a guy sitting there waiting to one shot you. So, uh, the sooner they fix that, the better. And I would almost certainly think that they're going to fix it before the DLC comes out for everybody. Did I mention the railgun? Basically, it's a gun that fires its projectiles with electromagnets. Now, I haven't had much time using it, however, I have been killed by it repeatedly. This literally can destroy a heli in one shot, and when I saw this, I thought, is this a glitch? This has got to be a glitch, right? Well, apparently not, and at this point, I was starting to get confuzzled over the whole situation, as you can see by my tweet right here. Having an SC-42 and this railgun in-game is just so frustrating, and yeah, that's what the tweet was about, but yeah, like I said, I understand having a 25 to 30 damage with the railgun onto hover tanks and LAVs. That makes sense to me. And that's how it should be with the heli. You should be able to have maybe 20 damage onto it, but not one shot it. There are so many things in the game currently that already take out helis. Another thing is not welcomed, in my opinion. So, uh, there's that. Now, the map you're watching me play on is Operation Whiteout. Now, as you see, it's a snow map, and prior to this DLC, we didn't even have a dedicated snow map. And while I was excited to play on one, the novelty wore off fast. The one positive I saw is I really liked the map flow when it worked. You slowly move up on an objective, clearing waves of enemies as you climb a mountain or go through a bunker. It reminds me of almost a single player type gameplay. I remember playing Battlefield 3's campaign and it was a lot like that. You go through one wave, then you go to the next wave, and it's kind of like that where it's it, it feels almost set up. It's the strangest thing. I've never played a multiplayer game where it feels set up, but that's the kind of thinking that I have when I play on, on Operation Whiteout. So there are my thoughts so far on the DLC. I will constantly be making updates as it progresses and as in they improve it because basically what we're in right now is a beta stage. So that's what you need to keep in mind. They're still testing things so things could change in time and like I said, I'll make updates as things go along. It's too early to give an overall judgement but what I will say is it has a potential to be a great DLC. With the inclusion of CTE coming into this DLC it could be a great feeling of actual gameplay, something that we haven't had in Battlefield 4 since its release. So we could also go back to previous DLCs and have fun of that as well because of CTE. So final stand, it's looking promising, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comments section below, but that's pretty much it from me guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and peace.